Transformed by Truth, Walking in the Footsteps of Grace. Today I want us to explore the profound message that we find in Colossians chapter 3 verse 13 which teaches us about the transformative power of forgiveness. C.S. Lewis once said, To be a Christian means to forgive the inexcusable because God has forgiven the inexcusable in you. This quote reminds us of the grace that we've received and our responsibility to extend that grace to others. Our key verse today is Colossians chapter 3 verse 13. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. This passage really challenges us to embody Christ-like forgiveness in our daily lives. Let's dig a little deeper into this verse and discover three key points about forgiveness. Understanding the call to forgive. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Paul's letter to the Colossians emphasizes living a life that reflects Christ. In this context, he encourages believers to show patience and forgiveness towards one another. The Greek word for make allowance means to bear with or endure. And the term translated as forgive implies a gracious and unconditional pardon. We are called to bear with each other's faults, understanding that everyone makes mistakes. Forgiveness should be given freely, mirroring the grace that we've received from Christ. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. The Apostle Paul encourages the Ephesians to adopt a heart of kindness and forgiveness, highlighting the divine example set by Christ. 
the word that's used for kind and the word tender-hearted they denote a compassionate and benevolent attitude when we cultivate a compassionate heart when we are ready to forgive as Christ forgave us then we foster unity and reflect the love of God to others the example of Christ's forgiveness Colossians 3 verse 13 remember the Lord forgave you so you must forgive others the Apostle Paul again reminds the Colossians of the forgiveness they've received through Christ urging them to extend the same forgiveness to others reflect on the depth of Christ's forgiveness in your life your reflection should motivate you to forgive others understanding that forgiveness is a crucial aspect of living a Christ-like life Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 and 15 if you forgive those who sin against you your Heavenly Father will forgive you but if you refuse to forgive others your father will not forgive your sins in the Sermon on the Mount Jesus teaches about the importance of forgiveness linking it directly to our relationship with God there's a mutual expectation of forgiveness in our relationship with God and with others we need to recognize that forgiveness is not optional it's essential for our spiritual well-being it aligns us with God's will and opens the door to receiving God's forgiveness the transformative power of forgiveness make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you remember the Lord forgave you so you must forgive others Paul's instructions to the Colossians are a call to action they emphasize the transformative effect of forgiveness on individuals and community the repeated emphasis here illustrates the continuous and active nature of forgiveness required in the Christian life forgiveness transforms relationships heals wounds and fosters a community of grace and love by practicing forgiveness we allow God's peace to reign in our hearts and our communities mark chapter 11 verse 25 but when you are praying first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too Jesus teaches the importance of forgiveness as a prerequisite for effective prayer and a harmonious relationship with God we are not meant to retain resentment we're not meant to do anything that hinders our relationship with God and before approaching God in prayer we need to examine our heart for any unforgiveness release any grudges and extend forgiveness to others ensuring that our prayers are unhindered and our relationship with God remains intact forgiveness is a transformative power that aligns us with Christ's example and heals our relationships this week seek opportunities to be gracious to those who have wronged you forgive them remembering the forgiveness that you've received through Christ let's commit to being a community and people marked by forgiveness today let's reflect the grace of God in our life and let's extend that grace to others let forgiveness flow freely transforming our hearts transforming our minds and transforming our lives as we seek to live according to the will and ways of our Lord we were broken sinful and wretched a stain soaked deep into the fabric of humanity consumed by death covered in darkness lost in the wilderness set adrift in the vastness but God he was consumed too unwilling to watch his creation wander endlessly unable to sit by as we dove deeper into the abyss he was overcome by love by grace by mercy he took our pieces and gave them purpose. He took our shattered spirit and gave it hope. He took our destiny and reshaped it. 
Though we were unworthy, he counted us worthwhile. We were broken, but in the hands of God, we've been made whole. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to click on the like, subscribe and notify buttons before you go. And if you have time, why not watch another of our videos? Remember you can connect with us at our website, estrielim.church. You can also listen to our audio sermons on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music and Spotify. May you truly be transformed by the Word of God. May you allow God to transform you in every aspect of your life. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. God bless. Bye for now.